just say something. Aries, your vulnerability, boo boo, is like a day late and a dollar short. What is going on, beautiful people? How are y'all doing, honey? Okay, listen. This episode was a boring, honey. I think I fell asleep. Give or take 20 minutes into it, honey. Then I, I woke back up. It was a commercial. Because y'all know they got about 20 commercials. Okay? Um... So, I'm going to give y'all what I got from this, okay? It was not much, okay? It wasn't much, okay? I'm glad to see you guys are back for another week. We're going to discuss this, what little there is to discuss, okay? If you're new to my channel, hey, boo-boo, welcome. Where you been? Who you been watching? It wasn't me, but since you're watching me now, how are you doing? My name is Carla, okay? Or Pretty Girl J is what they call me over here. I welcome you. Look, y'all already know what to do. If you're day ones, if you're here every week with me, leave your comments below. Don't forget to like this video and hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And I know some of y'all haven't done so, although your comment and you give your feedback every single week. I know. I can see right through all of that Maybelline. That you ain't subscribed. So hit that smash. Just smash the button. Don't forget to hit the bell notification. Because a couple of you said you couldn't wait to see me. And I'm like, honey, I come on at the same time every week. Where are your antennas? I cut up last week. I cut a whole fool on these people and they still ain't brought no therapist to help these people. I'm convinced they want them to die and fail. I I'm convinced they want them all to be divorced and that's where they're all here. S-O-S, please somebody help me. Everything is failing. Hey, y'all like my song? Okay, listen. Okay, let's get into... um. Jasmine. Jasmine has checked out. She has checked out. And Jasmine, you should have checked out maybe two weeks ago. Okay. But Jasmine has checked out. Jasmine don't. Is it me? And I ain't gonna be here with y'all long. But is it me? We just gonna have a conversation. I should have went live. Okay. So we could talk about this episode. Is it me? Or... Now that Aries is trying to put forth effort to be vulnerable, that just, we just don't give a shit now. Now, I, that, is it just me? If, in my opinion, I could give two shits about you and your daddy boo-boos and you running and playing hide and go seek or hide and go get them or whatever you was doing. In your childhood that you let roll into your adulthood, I could care less, okay? It's, it's almost like a day late and a dollar short. When we wanted you to put your best foot forward, you was playing games. And I feel like you still are playing games. You just want to look like at this point now, because y'all have what? Three, four more weeks left. Y'all almost done. Now you want to look like, okay, well, you see I'm being vulnerable and I'm trying. But Jasmine, I can't believe you said you still feeling Aries. And you still feel like y'all compatible. I'm thinking how, why sway, how come? And these experts tell me something, they're going to return to their roots. Okay, so they not going to return to therapy? Is that what y'all telling my ass? Nicole and Chris. She, um, she's scared to let him know who she really is because she is leveraging decision day. She's got decision day in the back of her mind. She's like, I don't want to let, I don't want him to know everything about me. So I'm going to pick and choose what I reveal to him. And I'm like, okay, that's real life dating. Ain't that what we do, ladies? Ain't that what, uh, don't your representative show up? 
on the first date, ladies, men, don't you perpetrate like you got all your shit together and you don't? <laughs> Haven't we all been there? <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You be honest with yourself. Be. <laughs> I'm just saying. Y'all know a representative and came a, a time or two and showed out for you. When you know you a real, a real bust them windows out. Don't play with me. Pop gum and pop off type of person. Don't play with me. So they return to the roots of not therapy. Nicole um is talking about she realizes that she's a needy person. And um, I said, you know what? Let me be honest. When you're feeling, when you really, really feeling a man, when you really, really feeling a woman, can't you come on? A little needy, a little thirsty, or I guess the good question would be, what? And y'all, y'all, look. Let's discuss this in the comment section. The question I am asking is, what is the line that we cross between needy and healthy attention? Like, what is what what is the thin line between that? Because honestly, I'm sorry, but if I am dating a man and he says that he is into me, yeah, I want your attention. Yes, I want those phone calls, those text messages while we're, you know, at work checking on me, seeing how I'm doing. Yes, I do. I want, you know, my drive home. I want to hear you, hear your voice and know how you're doing in your day. Is that needy or is that... I want healthy attention. So y'all let me know because a lot of us here are single. A lot of us here are dating and we would like to know. Come, let's come to a consensus, ladies, men included. Cause it's a man who don't mind a woman calling, checking on them or, or, you know, just shooting a little shot out there, getting a little flirty. But what is the difference between needy and you just like a little attention. <laughs> but Chris said, I want, I want, I want, I want, I want Nicole old ass. I uh, uh, Nicole go back to them old ways because she acted like my ex. Uh-uh, uh, she tripping. I ain't going to want her. He said, I would never have married the old Nicole because the old Nicole, uh-uh, she, she was like one of my exes. She was, uh -uh, she tripping and I don't want her. Uh -uh, get somebody else to get her. Now I'm trying to be nice, y'all. I am trying love Whitney. Whitney, Whitney, Whitney. Whitney, who is one of my subscribers, right? Whitney got me together last week, y'all. She got me together. And I said to Whitney, I can watch my tone in my mouth okay so for you Whitney I am not gonna call this girl out her name but what I will say about Ju I about to call her Juvedire but Whitney told me be nice Gina okay Botox fillers Gina okay what I will say and I gotta say this Whitney I gotta say this cause it's burning me up not to say it I'm sick as shit over them damn old navy shorts that she wears. Every single time we see them have an Audi, this bitch got on old board shorts. And they're big and wide as shit. And they are on her navel. Honey, they high-waisted. Uh, look, look. I ain't even gonna say the she got she I ain't gonna even say she got a book bag ass. I ain't even saying that, y'all. I'm not gonna even talk about her physique, okay? Cause I don't want her talking about mine. <laughs> but what I will say, what I will say is that I don't care for them shorts. I don't care for them mom shorts, okay? Them look like gardening shorts that your granny wear when her ass is in the air and she digging up the front yard. And y'all tell me I'm lying. I'll wait. I'm blinking like Mary J. Blige right now. Stay your ass out of old Nate. This the most insightful Aries has ever been. He has he he said, I'm gonna show you what my childhood represented. He took Jasmine to a collector's, a card collecting shop. 
And he explained why he loved cards. He explained that he moved around a lot. Again, he comes from a single parent household, okay? We know his father, you know, was was um killed and all of that stuff, but he ultimately came, he's he's single parent household, the only child, but his mother moved a lot. He explained that no matter what he lost in the move, it could be shoes, it could be clothes, he never lost his cards, his it, the cards that he collected. And that card shop reminded him of his childhood. I said, damn it, Aries, we getting somewhere with you. Now we understand. And he even went as far as to say when he was doing therapy. Now, I don't know if he was really doing therapy or just talking to a pastor or a prophet. I don't know. Okay, that is not my story with him. I don't, his therapist told him um, that, um, she explained that because of him moving, he moved through life and he moved through women and he moved through relationships because he felt like things were just disposable. He could just, he was a track star. He learned how to be a track star, how to just, if things weren't suiting him, he could just get up and go and hit it and go, go on about his business. And now in his marriage, He's doing the same thing. He recognizes that he can't run from everything. You know, he can't run from a meaningful relationship because he won't have anything. And I said, you know what? I get it. You became a track star into your adulthood. And that's because of all this running that your mother and, 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 and you on all this movie y'all did. Okay, I understand. Okay, but what had me howling? Baby, I don't know why I laughed so hard at this. I don't know why I did, but I did. And I know I ain't right. And y'all gonna, ooh, y'all gonna get on me. He asked Jasmine. He asked Jasmine family. What do you think about what I shared with you? Jasmine said, <laughs> Jasmine said, hmm, I ain't got nothing to say. <laughs> Don't give a shit about no airy story. Jasmine says, I don't have anything to say. Jasmine, this man just gave you a piece of him as a child. And she still ain't got nothing to say, y'all. I swear. She standing 10 toes down. She will not reveal not another damn thing. Kirsten, baby, you just got good with Shaquille. You just made it hot last week. Now you gonna mess up the church's money by talking about a $2.5 million house that bitch not even you can afford, okay? Remember, you just asked this black man over here, over yonder, for a website, okay? And a logo. Now this week you asking him to buy you a $2.5 million house. Bitch, why? You don't even deserve a $250,000 house. What you mean? You're going too damn far. You're going too far. You want to be kept, okay? You are not, this is not a Will and Jada moment, okay? Kirsten takes um Shaquille to her family's old home and says, this is, you know, my family's house I grew up in and I was eight when they separated. Okay, I ain't gonna lie. This was my intense. I started, I was listening very good and very intently to Kirsten because I said, here come the lie. There's a lie in this story and I'm gonna tell you where the lie is, okay. Kirsten said she was eight when they split, okay. She said her father, she said, oh, her family was, they had big Christmases and her father was a provider. Y'all heard that, right? Her father was a provider. I said, okay, I heard you. You said that three times in the, in this scene, my father was a provider. He took care of everything, okay. He took care of our needs without us having to tell him what our needs was. I said, that's a lie. Your mama was on his shit. She was on his damn neck. 
he, she was on that ass telling him what them needs were. And he got sick of that shit and said, I can't do this no more. Okay? I can't do this no more. Kirsten, what you failed to say the truth in is that there is a reason why your father left. And it wasn't because Christmas wasn't going to come that year. Okay? <laughs> I'm going to tell the truth. Let's tell the truth. Y'all want me to tell the truth? Y'all want me to tell the truth? All right. Here go. Here go. Here go. Kirsten, your daddy was a provider, but he was emotionally unavailable. Catch the tea. Catch that shit. I said it. I said what y'all been wanting to say. That whole scene, I want I, I want my man, I know I've been putting pressure on you, which she has, to provide for my daddy, who your ass still ain't met. I want you to provide like my daddy provided for me because that's what I saw. But that's what you think you saw, little girl. That's what you think you saw because you was eight. You thought you saw a provider, but your daddy might have been laying it low and spreading it wide, true tea. Hey, it could have been some ease by you type of shit going on around here. But no, nah, y'all don't want me to say it. Y'all don't want me to say it, you know, but I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. Kirsten, you are putting your daddy on this pedestal that you want your husband to be at. And bitch, you ain't done the work yourself for him to even want to be at. You want to be kept with your no logo having ass. But what you're not saying is that how you want him to be like your daddy if you don't even really know the real reason or what you think your daddy left. Why did your daddy left? Because you didn't say why your daddy left. You just said uh, one day uh, he, he, he decided he was done and he was gone. And there was no more big Christmases and great holidays. He was just gone. Where'd he go? Did he go to Sheila's house? Did he go to Miss Pat's house? Where'd he go? What else they do, y'all? Then they t said, let, write a letter to our younger selves. That exercise. Um. Again, uh we we writing letters but we 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 ain't got no therapist showing up no life coach my auntie yana van zahn ain't showed up and called anybody beloved or call a thing a thing she y'all ain't got no ricky lake nobody jenny jones Geraldo. damn even montel williams could have had this popping y'all ain't called none of the ogs okay or get with the program oprah i mean none of these people you hear me nobody showed up but they want them to write letters today so but i tell you what chris letter chris letter baby I, he probably have, may have had the most profound letter of all all the, the couples okay chris letters went like this they drive in the car. Nicole said, let me read your, you want me to read your letter? I'll read it. <clears throat> Chris said, mom, I just want you to know that your ex, he was a piece of shit. And I know you could do better. Chris, she know, your mama know she could have done better. Okay, but bills had to be paid. Then Chris went on to tell the story about the mom and how the the her her boyfriend was like not a nice person and just just a jerk and was always you know threatening and mean. Chris, that was Chris' letter to his mama, low key. That was that that had nothing to do with him. He just wanted to put that out there that his mama picked the wrong man. Okay, now. Nicole letter went something like this. Dear preteen Nicole. I said, that's how we started a letter. Dear preteen Nicole. Your body's going to change. You're going to be thick with it, boo. Don't allow people to take advantage of you. Mm -mm. Don't be lying saying you got, you know, you good when you getting burned and all this other crap. Okay. P.S. You grew up to be a fabulous woman. That, that Nicole letter. <laughs> Nicole said, and I'm going to big up myself and will. Nicole letter was very um, reassuring. 
I will say that. Very reassuring. Aries and Jasmine. These two letters, uh, honestly, didn't give us much insight. Aries keeps telling my how he misses daddy. And um, how, you know, in his childhood, all the moving and all of that. And saying I love you and um, being himself and being authentic is enough for a little black boy. I said, okay, I agree with that. And, um, but again, with Aries, I guess the question is, who was your role model? Because if your father wasn't there and then your father eventually, you know, lost his life, who was your example? And if you didn't have any one, which it clearly kind of seems like you didn't have anyone, I'm just assuming, um, then it explains a lot in how you treat women and especially how you're going on with this marriage with, um, Jasmine. Okay, now Jasmine, your letter was full of building self-esteem. That's what I took from your letter. You want all young girls who are like you, who look like you, to have better self-esteem. Okay, and that's why you go so hard with the mentoring. And um, that's why you have 101 Dalmatians around you. Because you want people to feel cared for, okay? Okay. But what I would really care for you and like for you to do is go hard for yourself and choose yourself, okay, and your happiness. And if don't be don't fight for Aries and his story. To me, to me, this story ain't worth fighting for. You got to see the value and the worth in him, and he don't see it for you. So why see it for him? Here, here's my letter to Jasmine. Here y'all go, Jasmine. Stop crossing oceans that bastards wouldn't cross rivers for you for. Okay? That's my that's my letter to Jasmine. Stop crossing the ocean for people who wouldn't even cross the street for your ass. Okay? Shaquille's when I tell you I Shaquille is me. Shaquille is me. Let me tell y'all, Shaquille is me. I respect Shaquille for trying to hold his family together, okay? Shaquille is me. I am Shaquille, okay? In my family, I am the one who does these things. I am the one who is always planning something, trying to get us together. Um, Kirsten is trying to figure out with him being so busy, where does she fit in? I think that's her question. Where does she fit in with him being so busy? And if a person wants you in their life, they'll make time. Oh, I forgot that um, Chris uh, brought Nicole ass to Sherwin Williams. That's Sherwin Williams. <laughs> the paint store. He took her to the paint store and said, look. So when I was a kid, my daddy had us work in his paint store. He owned a paint store, but he was mean as shit. I couldn't stand him. He was always, you know, putting his hands on us and we couldn't do shit right. But yeah, this my childhood working at the paint store, which I hated. But I did what he asked me to do because I was a child and I stayed in a child's place. Kill and Kirsten and Jasmine and Aries, they go paintballing. And then they were able to swap spouses and speak on their marriage. And I love that Shaquille poured into Jasmine by um, telling Jasmine that she was beautiful. And she was that girl. And Jasmine, getting that reassurance from Shaquille, she was like, I am. I'm a bad bitch. Who said that? I was looking at her like, that's what I've been trying to tell you, Jasmine. You that girl. You a baddie, girl. You a baddie. And guess what? You ought to be proud of me, Whitney. I didn't say nothing about her teeth. I said, she a bad B, and that's all that matters. Y'all got to give my props. Y'all got to give my props, doggone it. I am doing good. I ain't told nobody up. Yeah. Now, Aries going to tell Kirsten, I think I'm going to take the lead on being vulnerable because I realize that it's hard for her to do that. And so if I take the lead on being vulnerable, it, I see it helping and it's going to help us break down walls so that we can, we can become closer. Aries, I would say that would that that was helping y'all, but that would be a damn lie. Ain't shit helping y'all. 
That girl want vitamin D. Something you're not willing to give her because you don't find her attractive. And until you admit that you don't find her attractive because dot, 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 because da, 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 until you admit that, honey, y'all not going nowhere. But to divorce court, Judge Maybelline going to be waiting right there. Yeah. And lastly, you know what? Shaquille was trying to talk to um, Kirsten, who was chomping all that salad and didn't want to talk, kept her mouth full. She didn't want to talk or whatever about this whole first of all Shaquille feels some type of way because he wants to meet her father that's one two you want me to be like your daddy so you, I guess you feel like you kind of married your daddy and we I, I, he just not there yet and he's feeling the pressure from her that is really unnecessary. It really, really is. But I feel like this is a little bit, Shaquille. If you can't take the heat, get your ass out the kitchen. Okay? That's all I got for y'all. It wasn't much in this episode. I hope that you enjoyed my thoughts on episode 13. Okay? Please like, comment below, share this video. All right? And hit the subscribe button. Don't you dare. Click off this. Don't you dare click off this video and not hit subscribe and hit that like button. Okay? I challenge you today not to just click off. All right? Thank you for watching. And if there's something you would like to see from me, please leave it in the comment section. Okay? If there's something you want me to discuss, leave it in the comment section. All right? Unless it's personal, then you know what to do. My email is always in the description box. Also, I'm on Instagram, so you can always personally DM me and we can personally chat, okay? I'll see you guys next week. That's all I got. I ain't got no more. I love y'all. Thank you for watching. See you soon, boo. Bye.